Sit back and throw one back with your pinky in the air and a middle finger to the world. And join me, the eclectic gentleman, Stephen Watts, as we look back on this day in pro wrestling history. But before we do, put that drink down, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is August 6th, and we're going to start off as we always do on a positive note. That's right, these are your pro wrestling birthdays. 1942, one of the Valiant Boys, Jimmy Valiant. 1947, the strongman, Dino Bravo. And last but not least, 1986, NWA's own... Thomas Latimer. And we're going to keep that positivity train a rolling. That's right. These are your pro wrestling history highlights for August 6th. A short trip in the Wayback Machine today is we start in 1963. Ali Bay defeats Gory Guerrero to win the EMLL NWA light heavyweight title in El Paso, Texas. Moving on. All the way to the 90s, 1994, Chris Candido and Brian Lee defeat the Rock and Roll Express for the Smoky Mountain Wrestling Tag Team titles in Johnson City, Tennessee, ending Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson's eighth title reign after only one day. Candido and Lee had lost the belts the day before in Knoxville, Tennessee. And last but not least, on our super, super, super short trip in Wrestling history today, 1995, WCW held Clash of the Champions 31 in Daytona Beach, Florida at the Ocean Center. With a main event of Big Van Vader defeating Arn Anderson and Ric Flair in a handicap match when Vader pinned Anderson with a powerbomb. Those were your mega short but sweet. Pro Wrestling History Highlights for August 6th. I'm the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and we'll see you tomorrow.